Today we look at how you can protect your privacy while still using Facebook. This is another flipped classroom tutorials. Now unless you've been living under a rock, you have heard about what's happened with Facebook this week. Now Facebook has been leaking information to Cambridge Analytica. They have been using this information and all without the end user knowing about it. We are going to go and have a look at Facebook settings and how we can protect our own online privacy. Now the first thing you can do is simply click on that drop down arrow and go to settings. Now this will bring you to your main Facebook settings and this is where you will see that there's quite a lot blurred out and that's to both protect myself and my friends. Now the first thing that you can check is this submenu called privacy or privacy. Now in my opinion this should not be called privacy settings because all this does is it allows you to set your sharing settings. But do double check everything so here you can see your activity, who will see your future posts, who can send you requests, who can see your friend lists. Now what I've done is I've made sure that either everyone can send me friend requests, only I can see my friend lists, who can look you up using the email address, etc, etc. This is where you can change settings. Now let's say that you want to change your future posts, simply click on edit and then you can change this so that all future posts are by default public, friends only, or for some friends except for. Now when you click on the more you will see that you can also have everything either private or you can select a select few specific friends like family members. Now mine is set to friends and I'm just going to leave everything as it is. Now when you have changed everything in your privacy settings and tools this is not the end of it because the real issue with Facebook is not in the privacy tools but it is down below where you can see apps. So go ahead and click on this apps menu and you'll see this pulls up all the different apps Facebook has access to. Now as you can see this is logged in with Facebook, apps, websites and plugins, games and app notifications, apps other people use. Now this is where you can really dive into who has access to your information and I'll give you one example right here that you can see there is this little game called draw something and at some point I have given draw something access to my Facebook account. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on this app information and you can see it has full access to everything and this is what most people are not aware of. You can see it has access to my public profile, it has access to my friends list, access to my email address, it can send me notifications, it can do so much more. Now let's say that you do not want this app to remain in your app list. There are two ways that you can remove this. You can either scroll down and click on the remove app and we're going to do that now so I'm going to click on remove app. There we go and I now have the option to tick this little box. Now when I tick that box all my old draw something activity or any app activity is going to be deleted as well. So go ahead and do that now. Remove the app you do not want and you will see it is now gone from the list. Now I have a list of over 40 different apps. You can see it up here, 47 apps. Now some are useful like Adobe and others are not. So let's go ahead and remove this app without even looking at the permissions it has. Let's click on this remove button and let's delete all previous posts. Now I would highly recommend that you go through your entire app list because all these apps you might have played the game once but they still have access to your Facebook activity to this day. Now when you do remove an app this does not remove the information they have already gathered on you so do be aware of that they only stop gathering new information. Now. The other setting that you want to look at is this one called Apps, Websites and Plugins. Now when you click on Edit, this is going to allow you to either disable this platform or leave the platform on. Now, whenever you've gone to a website and you see Login with Google or Login with Facebook, that's what this is all about. So when this is on, you are able to log in with Facebook. Now, in return for that ease of use, you will sacrifice some of your privacy. Now you can either disable this platform or you can leave it on. This is completely up to you.
Now I'm going to cancel this and leave this on because I do actually use this. And then when we scroll down, you have some game and app notifications. Same thing, you can turn these on or off. And then here we have the apps others use. Now I would highly recommend that you click on the edit button because this is the information other people your friends in your friends list share with their apps. So you have very little control over the apps they sign up to, but you do have control over the information those apps can gather from you. So let's say that I keep this birthday turned on and my friend B signs up for an app called birthday fun, then that birthday fun app will have access to my birthday as well, even though I have not signed up for that app. So this you can tick or untick everything. Now do be aware this is used to create a social experience. So if you are into playing these social media games or you like interacting with people online in social games, then there are certain things here that you will want to keep ticked on. Now the only things I have left on are my birthday, my website and if I'm online or not. Now everything else I have unticked and I'm going to leave it as is. So let's go ahead and save these settings. There we go. And then here we have old version versions of Facebook for mobile. You set this to only me because these are legacy devices like the old Blackberry and the old Facebook apps. How much of that information do they still have access to? Because this is from before there were privacy settings on Facebook. Now, in addition to this, you can scroll down and select the menu that says ads. So go ahead and open up the ads menu. And this is where you can set how much information Facebook has to send you targeted ads. So go ahead and scroll down. Now I have this all turned on. Now what you can do is you can switch this off. So ads based on your use of websites and apps, if you prefer Facebook not to use that to deliver you with relevant ads, then you can switch this off. The same thing with outside Facebook companies and social actions. Now again, read through this, make decisions based on your own experiences and what you feel is okay to share with the world. Now once you've done that there is one more that you might want to have a look at and that's the face recognition. Now when you go to face recognition you can turn this on or off and this is where Facebook is automatically going to suggest tags to your friends when it recognizes your face. And that's all there is to the privacy settings on Facebook. Now with Facebook being in the news this week, I would love to hear in the comment section below, how are you changing your online behavior? What are you worried about and what are you not worried about? I hope you found this video helpful. I know it's been a slightly different format, a slightly different video, but I do feel that this is something worth talking about and especially this week. So I hope that you found it helpful and by all means share it with anyone who you think might find use in this. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.